Hello and welcome into this week's edition of the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series Rewind Show right here on Racing News Now. As always, I'm your host, Garth Allen. Thank you once again for joining me today. If this is your first time catching a Racing News Now video, consider going down below and hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward. On this channel, we discuss lots of motorsports, but namely NASCAR, ARCA, IndyCar, and Formula One. We do plan to broaden that scope eventually, but for now, that's what we cover. So on today's edition of the Trucks Rewind, we're looking back at last night's 8th annual Buckle Up in Your Truck 225 from the Kentucky Speedway. Sparta, Kentucky, 150 laps, 225 miles around this 1.5 mile oval. Not a lot happening uh, last night in terms of cautions, so if you're a fan of wrecks, uh, not a lot happening um, to pique your interest. Uh, the only caution for an incident happening on lap number one, that was John Hunter Nemechek and Tyler Matthews in the 83 car getting together in turn number two. That would end Tyler Matthews' night on lap number one. John Hunter Nemechek would continue uh, for a pretty solid finish on the night. Otherwise, the only other cautions were for the stage breaks. Stage number one was won by Ben Rhodes at lap 37 and lap 72 was the end of stage number two that was won by one mr noah gregson so we went caution free in stage number three and lots of lap leaders in this one though and noah gregson actually ended up kind of dominating this race led 62 laps on the night um, that was the most of anyone in this race. Also leading laps were Ben Rhodes with 38 laps led, 37 for Stuart Friesen. So those were really your, your top three guys on the night, Gregson, Rhodes, and Friesen. Parker Kligerman led 12 laps before getting taken out late um, and ending up in the garage 17 laps down. And one lap went to Todd Gilland. All right, so let's get into the results on the night. Ben Rhodes would be your winner on the night, his first win of the season, second career victory. Uh, he held him off there at the end, held off Stuart Friesen, namely. Uh, Stuart Friesen has been so close to his first Truck Series win this season. Uh, to be honest, though, I would look at him this week uh, coming up at Eldora. Uh, he comes from a dirt track background, um, and that's a track that... Uh, I, I believe he got his best finish of the season there in 2017, so that's one that I would really look out for him this week as possibly getting his first win and uh, locking himself into the playoffs. He's pretty good on points right now, as we'll see uh, when we get to the playoff grid here in a few minutes, but um, I think anybody that can win at this point, um, even no matter how good you are on points, uh, that definitely helps. And, and with as close as Stuart Friesen has been, it's got to be right around the corner. It's got to be eating at him. He's got to be really feeling the pressure right now, as good as he's been running this season, to get that first career victory. Matt Crafton comes home with his uh, best finish of the season in third. Brandon Jones in the 51 this week for Kyle Busch Motorsports in fourth. And John Hunter Nemechek rebounds from that lap one incident to come home with a top five finish in fifth. The rest of your top ten were Grant Infinger, Todd Gilliland, Noah Gragson, Dalton Sargent, and Justin Haley. 11th through 20th, uh, Cody Coughlin down here in the 12th position. A good run this week for Corbin Forrester there in the 13th position. Johnny Sauter uh, had some problems late, ends up two laps down in the 15th position. Brett Moffitt uh, off a little bit at the end as well, two laps down in the 18th position. 21st through 30th, Myatt Snyder. Uh, problems near the end as well. He ends up 13 laps down in the 26th position. The one lone wolf outside the top 10 for Thor Sport. Um, on, a, on a really good week for Thor Sport. They seem to have finally uh, righted the ship somewhat this week. Uh, and, and Myatt had a really good night going. Um, unfortunately, just not the, not the finish that he was looking for. Parker Kligerman, after leading 12 laps and getting caught up in an incident late, comes home in the 27th position. And, of course, down here, 31st and 32nd, Camden Murphy. And Tyler Matthews, as we said, getting caught up in that lap one incident with John Hunter Nemechek. 
All right, so that's your results for the buckle up in your truck 225. Now we'll head over to the media center and we'll see what your top three finishers, Matt Crafton, Stuart Friesen, and Ben Rhodes had to say after this one. Um, I just lost a little bit of track position uh, when we took four and got to racing and 41 and him got away and he started up front and he checked out and it sounded like he had something go on with his pit stop or took two tires and Ben took four or zero. Um, we're good. I felt if we would have had track position, we could have been there with him. We could have raced with him because I'd run comparable lap times. I'd run faster than them. And uh, all in all, I mean, it's great, great effort by everybody at Thor Sport. And this Menard Ford F-150 was good, especially the shit season that we've had so far this year. I mean, that's just, sorry to be so blunt, but it's been that bad this year. And uh, to come home third. Huh? We're going dirt racing next week, yeah. So, me and Stuart are looking forward to that. Uh, I felt like I was dirt racing getting a few times into three <laughs> tonight uh, at 180 miles an hour. But, like I said, I can't thank every one of these guys for not giving up. Yeah, Stuart? Yeah, likewise. Uh, we had to make a motor swap there uh, after time trials. And the GMS crew, uh, our HFR crew, um, worked worked awesome together like they have been all year, obviously. And uh, we had all hands on deck to, to swap everything out and um, – not exactly sure what the problem was, but uh, after that we were we were on a mission and followed Matt up through and, and raced hard up through the pack and uh, guys gave me an awesome pit stop and got us uh, to second there and had a tough race with the uh, with the 75 for a while. We were able to clear him and put some put some track position on him and then um, that green flag stop. I just didn't uh, just didn't get off pit road like I needed to. Uh, I think I gave up a little bit too much time maybe getting on pit road and then just um, didn't get a good enough launch and. That was it, you know, 41 got out in front of us by uh, by 100 yards or so, and that was it. We were just a little bit tight after that. And, um, but no, all in all, proud of my guys. Um, I know you got to win one to get in the playoffs, but um, we're making a shitload of points, so that's cool too, and um, on to next week. Well, um, we didn't cut any tires down, <laughs> so <laughs> the, the tires stayed inflated, and, and we ran the whole race. The motor stayed running, um, and it was just everything just went normal. <laughs> Right? I mean, everything went normal. We didn't have any bad luck plague us. And honestly, if you look back at our performances at, at the at the mile and a half, so every time we were in second or first or third, you know, we had something bad happen. So this has just been, I felt like a long time coming. This chassis 35, Chubacabra, um, <laughs> it, uh, it's, uh, it's a bad, fast chassis. And, um, you know, this, this Ford Performance, Thor Sport Racing, Carolina Nut, Alpha Energy Solutions, it's, uh, we, got, we got a good team. We, we really do. And the relationship that we have this year is just really, really strong. Every single race weekend, I feel like, you know, we're, we're in the top five no matter what. And if we're not, um, then that's pretty much, you know, a total loss uh, for us. It's, it's been a really strong year for us performance-wise. Very excited Ben Rhodes after this one to uh, finally turn things around this season and not have the bad luck. Uh, ruin what had been some pretty good finishes so far this season, finally able to put it all together and pick up that first win of the season. All right, so let's look at your playoff grid before wrapping up here tonight. And as you will see, Ben Rhodes obviously jumping up into the winner's column up to the fourth position. And the other thing you will notice is the cut line has become a lot more defined than it was before with Myatt Snyder's poor outing. Uh, for in Kentucky, now 79 points, the gap from 8th to 9th from Matt Craft and Myatt Snyder. So, that being said, I think we're at that point now where we can strongly say if you are not in the top 8, you need a win to get into the playoffs. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it at this point. Matt Craft and Grant Infinger or Stuart Friesen would have to have a really long string of bad luck going forward to put any of these guys back in contention points wise. So if you're if you're Myatt Snyder, if you're Cody Coughlin, if you're Dalton Sargent, if you're Todd Gilliland, you have to be looking at winning a race between now and the playoffs. That is the only way I think you're going to get into the playoffs at this point. Just 79 points from eighth to ninth is a lot of points. There, I just I don't see any way. Myatt Snyder can make that up without winning his way into the playoffs. And same there for Cody Coughlin, 82 points back. It's just, I don't see any way it can happen. 
All right, so that is your playoff grid following the buckle up in your truck 225. That's a fun name to say. I like that. Anyway, so that will do it for us tonight here on the Truck Series Rewind show. Uh, either later tonight or tomorrow morning. I haven't really figured it out yet. Depends on when the Xfinity race gets over. We will have an Xfinity Rewind uh, for the Allsco 300 from Kentucky. That's happening here in a little bit. And then, of course, uh, Cup Race and ARCA Race both on Saturday night. Quaker State 400 from the Kentucky Speedway. And the ARCA race from Elko, that is also on Saturday. So those will probably go up on Sunday morning sometime as well. So you want to keep an eye out for those. And as usual, pole position Monday evening at 8 p.m. to wrap up the entire weekend. All of this plus IndyCar from Toronto on Sunday. So we got a lot to look forward to through the rest of the season. And I hope you will stick around with us for it. So if you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any of that going forward throughout the weekend. And if you haven't done it already, hit that big thumbs up button. If you like the video, it is much appreciated when you do. So at that, this has been the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series Rewind Show. I'm Garth Allen for Racing News Now.